Yeah, I just want to be the greatest. It's your boy High Five Vega back again, and today I want to do a quick video showing you how to use the mini base meter here. I've gotten quite a few comments on my old school SPL run video on how to use this base meter, how to set it up in peak hold mode, how to see the frequency and the voltage. So I figure why not do a quick explainer video and show you guys how it works. There are a lot of videos online about this meter, but they don't show you how to use the peak hold function or how to change the calibration file or calibrate the voltage or SPL meter in this. We're gonna go through that. And it is pretty simple to figure this out. And once I show you, you guys are gonna really have a firm grasp on how to use this and uh, see how simple it really is to use. Without further ado, let's get into the video kind of check this thing out and show you how to use it. Okay, here is the mini base meter. This is the version one, I believe. The version two has the green screen, but let's go through and kind of show you what all it has. Right now it's hooked up, well, it was hooked up to the USB port, which you can use for power here. You need to use this DC port if you wanna get a voltage reading off it, and it comes with a nice little 12 volt plug here with the adapter, so you can read voltage. As far as what this thing can do, it can tell you the decibels, obviously, that's the most important thing, that's what everyone wants to know. It can also show you the frequency at which you hit that number, and it can also show you the voltage when you hit that number you can also set it to hold maximum spl as well as maximum voltage there's a few other things you can do this has two calibration files in it one for the term lab classic and one for the term lab magnum i currently have it set on the term lab magnum you can also on top of that adjust the voltage if it's a little bit off and you can adjust the spl if it's not exactly matching up to what you have let's start with how to set this in peak hold mode a lot of people have a lot of trouble getting this set up and it's actually very straightforward when you first plug this thing in what you're going to get is the current spl readings it's just going to kind of cycle through what the current spl is of the room and this says 120 low when it does that it means that the spl is not really loud enough to be accurate so anything under 120 decibels is uh, going to just pop up low and kind of show random numbers obviously your system is probably going to be much louder than this and then you will be able to get into the uh, real spl ratings in your vehicle peak hold is what everyone wants to know what you're going to do is go to hold right now it's off you can use the left mode button or the right reset button and you can cycle through p3 p2 P1. The difference between these, the program one will hold maximum SPL as well as the maximum voltage at that SPL. Meaning if you hit a 140 at 13.6 volts, that's what it will show you. P2 and P3 will hold maximum SPL and maximum voltage. So maximum voltage will not correspond with the maximum SPL. It will just show you your maximum voltage. With that being said, we'll set it to P1 so we can check it out. We wanna see maximum voltage and maximum SPL that correspond. I assume that'll be the most common thing that people wanna see, the program one. And right here, you see it flashing. This is the peak hold function. This is how it just holds steady and flashes. And that's how you know it's in peak hold mode. So I'm gonna blow in the back of the sensor here and see if we can get that number up a little bit more. All right, your boy's breath has a 133 decibel. And as you can see, it is peak holding right now. We can also cycle through here and see what frequency that was at. That was at 22 Hertz. And if we cycle one more time, we will see low voltage. That's because I do not have the cable hooked up over here that would show you the voltage. And this is just off a battery pack. To get out of this mode, all we have to do is cycle back through to off, push the hold button to confirm. And now we are out of this mode. Now we're gonna cover how to set this up in calibration mode. What we're gonna do is unplug it, and then when I plug it back in on startup, I'm gonna hold mode and reset at the same time. That'll get us into the service mode. Oh, 
we're in service mode now so we can change a few things here the first thing is going to be the type that is the calibration file like i said type one is the term lab classic type two is the term lab magnum the decibel adjustment if you have a difference in decibel from another meter that you have and you know it's calibrated and accurate you can set that here by going you know up or down you can you can subtract decibels to make it right you can add decibels to make it right the next thing you can adjust is the voltage if your voltage is a little bit off you just come through here and you can make the adjustments here so if it's reading a little low you can go up half a volt and show your true voltage all right that is it that is how you use this little mini base meter i've had a ton of people ask about it how to use it how to set up peak hold I didn't have anybody ask about how to set the calibration file, but I figured I'd throw that anyways because you know some people wanna know that. If you have some tips and tricks that I do not know about this that weren't on this video, leave them in the comments below so everyone else can see them. I definitely wanna know if there's other things this can do that I'm not aware of. That being said, if you are not subscribed, you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell. Plenty of stuff like this to come, you know, podcasts, amp dinos subwoofer test, all that type of stuff. And yeah, I appreciate you watching and I will catch you in the next video. I'd like to thank all my Patreon supporters, but I want to give a special shout out to the $6 or more members, 2001 Monolithic, The Third Era, G Nava, Joaquin Juarez, El Fuego, Travis McClendon, Brandon Hanna, William Berg, Boxboy Audio Sound Solutions, Jesus Tires, Orion the Great, Chris Hanley, Dennis Cromwell Jr., Vin Quach, Scott Dilbick, D. Stewart, Derek Simpson, and Aaron Waltz. For as little as $2 a month, you can join the team and get Patreon exclusive content. I'm trying to reach my goal of $200 a month so I can do an exclusive podcast only for Patreon supporters. If you want to help me out, I am only $20 away from that goal. So uh, check me out at patreon.com slash high five vega. If you still don't have enough high five vega in your life, why don't you check out one of these videos that I picked out just for you?